What's going on? Travis here, TravisStetzel.com, StrongAndShredded.com, and I'm here. I wanted to go over how I put together my high-performance high conditioning finishers, all right? Um, one of the common questions that I get from serious lifters and athletes is how to um, fit in conditioning into their programming, all right? Um, one of the biggest trends right now, um, which... You know, these have been around forever, but it's, you know, starting to become mainstream is that of finishers within your workout. So always doing something at the end of the workout to kind of finalize out a training session. And more, um, most of the time it's just, you know, finishing off your session with the conditioning part. Um, just, you know, putting that final touch on your, on your training session. And basically what that is is a finisher. So I'm going to talk about high performance conditioning finishers. Uh, because the main focus of these is to keep you strong, keep muscle on your body, help you get lean, and help you keep increasing your performance. Because a, a big mistake that a lot of people are, are making is they're doing the wrong things for their finishers. And in return, they're losing strength, they're losing muscle, and they're dropping off their performance. All things that you do not want as a serious lifter and an athlete. All right, so I'm going to talk about how you can stay strong, gain, you know, gain more muscle, and improve performance all at once while getting in the right type of conditioning, all right? Now, before I go into an actual layout of a high-performance conditioning session, I'm going to go over a couple rules and explain the backing behind these rules. So, rule number one with your time I typically say about 8 to 12 minutes max for your finishers, maybe even less. So we can get into, you know, 4 minutes, you know, 6 minutes is a good sweet spot for a lot of beginners. But typically when you start to build up a bigger motor and a bigger base um, as far as conditioning goes, 8 to 12 minutes is really all you need at the end of your workout to get in a great conditioning session. Because um, basically what's going on, you're probably thinking, why 8 to 12, why so short? Well. That ties into the next rule that I'll talk about. And typically what happens after the 12 minute mark is you basically cast yourself out. Okay, if you're going past 12 minutes, you're usually not going at a high enough intensity. Okay, so 12 minutes is usually the cutoff point. Um, I know there's some people out there that are just absolute freaks of nature. They've built up that, uh, that base of conditioning and they just got a motor that does not end. And they can go past the 12 minute mark, but for most people, most serious lifters and athletes, right around the 12 minute mark is when they're done. They're done. Nothing else is going to, you know, um, be any good after that point. Um, your conditioning sessions should be more of a sprint, okay, versus like a slow paced jog, which is typically what happens after the 12 minute mark. Most people, you know, it might happen even earlier at the eight minute mark. So it, depending on what type of high performance conditioning finish you're doing, um, it's, it's going to be about 12 minutes long. All right, now what it ties into that is intensity. And that should be your main focus with your high performance conditioning finishers, all right, is intensity. Like I mentioned, it needs to be an all-out sprint at the end. That's what you're looking to do. You want the intensity to be very high. You want to get in and get out as quickly as possible. Because any smart lifter or athlete knows the more time that you spend outside of the gym, there's more time that you get to recover and gain results. The more that you're in the gym spending time, that's the last time that you get outside of the gym to rest and recover and get the results that you're working for. So the intensity is the key for this. And that's why we want to keep our, our time of our high intensity or high performance conditioning finishers in the 8 to 12, rep or, uh, 8 to 12 minute range. All right.